Today's video is titled, Theodore Schwann Describes Myelin-Forming Cells in the Peripheral Nervous System. Theodore Schwann was a German physiologist who was known to be the founder of modern histology. He's most known for coining the term, all living organisms are made up of cells. Schwann was born in Neuss, Germany in 1810. Three years after his retirement in 1882, he passed away. Similar to us here at the university, Schwann was lucky enough to learn at a Jesuit environment at the Jesuits College in Cologne. I guess it really wasn't for him, so he bounced around from school to school after a while, and he eventually found himself working at the University of Liege, where he began to investig investigate muscular contraction and nerve structure. This is where things begin to get interesting. Schwann had a multitude of discoveries and managed to contribute a lot to the world of science. As scientists began to obtain more knowledge about life and the cell theory, Schwann soon took more interest in animal cells. One day, Schwann and a colleague to the left, Matthias Gladen, were sharing observations. Schwann decided to dive deeper into the peripheral nervous system after being inspired by Gladen for his discoveries. As Schwann did this, he noticed something interesting surrounding the neural cells in the peripheral nervous system. Boom! The Schwann cell! At the time, it was unknown the true function of the Schwann cell and its importance for the myelin sheath. This would be unanswered until the creation of the electron microscope. But today, we know this type of cell to help with the protection and myelination of the neuron in the peripheral nervous system. Thank you all for watching.